Welcome to our tutorial. This video will demonstrate how to use Savoir Multi-Satellite Swath Planner to find acquisition opportunities over a particular region for any given set of satellites and sensors. We therefore need to create a scenario, and to do this we must consider a time period with start and end dates, an area of interest on the Earth, and a list of satellites and sensors to work with. Let's consider that today we are interested in Italy and we want to see what the acquisition opportunities during the next 16 days time span would be, choosing a specific satellite and sensor. Let's begin. For the time period, we must go on the time toolbar. We click on the icon to open up the calendar and then we left click and drag with the mouse to select the 16 days that we wish to examine. As soon as I release, I am given both the start and the end dates here on the time bar. We then press the refresh button to make sure that it is indeed recorded here in the time bar slot as well. For the area of interest, we simply left click and drag with the mouse to position the Earth on the location that we desire. We can then zoom in or out by using the zoom buttons or the scroll wheel on our mouse. We can then activate an area of interest from here by using any of the tools to work with. I'm going to choose a rectangle and let's say that I am specifically interested in Sardinia today. I will then left click, drag and release over Sardinia to create the area of interest. It's then going to ask me to name this area and I'm going to do so by simply writing my Sardinia. To select satellites and sensors, we go on the satellites pane here at the top left. Let's say that I want to use Landsat 7 today. I'm then going to find it, obviously. I'm going to open it. Here we have the plus signs to activate orbits or sensors and when I click on the plus sign it will then open up the possibility for me to activate the sensor. At this point, what has happened? Once that I selected the time period to work with, the area of interest on the Earth and the satellite that I wish to use, Savoir has then calculated the swath intersections and has represented them on a map view for us. At this point, next to the map tab, Two new tabs have appeared, the Gantt and the Report, which give us further information on the swaths involved. The Gantt view shows us, as you can see, when the acquisitions take place, indicating how much of the area of interest is covered in a chronological time sequence, whilst the Report view displays the swath parameters in a tabular form for us. We could then choose to save and export our work by clicking on the Export to Excel button here. It's then going to ask us to select the fields that we wish to export for every acquisition. Once we have chosen them, we give it the OK. And it will then ask us where we want to save it on our computer. We choose wherever we want to do this. We give the file a name and when we click on the Save button, it will then ask us if we wish to open up the dialog window right now. I'm going to say yes. And as you can see, we are then given the Excel spreadsheet here for us to work with. So that's how we can find acquisition opportunities for any given area of interest. Thank you for your attention.